In this video, we're going to show you something that you can try if your active board isn't working. So the board that we have here, we can see that the projector is connected because we can see the image from the computer on the board. And we've already tried another pen, so we know it's not a pen, but when we put the pen on the board, we can see the cursor doesn't move and it's not responding. So on this board, there's two things that are happening that show us that it's not connected. So let's have a look at those. The first thing is the icon down here that shows when the board is plugged in has got a red cross through it. So that shows the board and the computer aren't connected properly. If they are, you'd see an orange person instead. On this board, there's also something else happening that shows us that they're not connected. And that's the light in the top hand corner here is red. This might not happen on your board, but it might be red or it might be blue. But this is one of the clues as well that things aren't connected. So what we're going to do now is do a power cycle to see if we can get the board and the computer talking to each other again. The first thing we need to do is unplug the USB cord from the port. So this is assuming you've already tried just plugging this into different ports in case it's just one port that's not working. The USB cord will either come directly from your board somewhere or it might come from a wall plate on the wall. So we're going to unplug that one. And we also now need to turn the power off to the board. So again, it might come down directly to the floor or it might be somewhere else, but you just need to follow the cable and turn that one off. It's important that you turn that off for about two minutes to give it time to power down. So after two minutes, you turn the board back on here. When you turn it on, you also need to turn it back on on the side of the board if you have one of these boards with the black frame. If you have an older board with a grey frame, you won't need to do this. So let's have a look at the button where you turn that on. It's over here, you'll see the volume knob and some ports down here, and there's a little white button, and you might be able to see in the video there, there's a red light behind it to show it's turned off. So we just press that once, and that light will turn to green. And now we're going to plug the USB back in, and then we'll have a look at the board, and we should see that icon change. So we'll plug the USB in, you might hear a noise saying that it's connected. And we can now see that icon is going to turn to white with a small orange figure. Now when we put the pen on the board, we can see that it follows it around and your board and your pen are now talking to each other again.